Supercross racing requires timing and precision. A key component to that is visual acuity. At Oakley, we've been designing and engineering proper optics and eyewear and goggles for decades. Today, we'll explore how optics, rider safety, and field of view all play an important role in goggle design. You have to meet an impact requirement with something like this. This is a quarter inch steel ball, and it gets shot at you at a little over 100 miles an hour. What a motorcycle is capable of, you can have a projectile come at you close to 400 miles an hour. So we're trying to engineer to a motorcycle requirement rather than an industry standard. If we think about true to life failures in the field, it's typically when a goggle collapses into your face or your eyes. This piece of equipment will simulate that. We can apply different weights and drop heights, and that's how we get our energy calculations. So you see the chassis actually uh, folding the faceplate, taking most of the energy, or well, the lens stays pretty rigid. That keeps anything off your eye, essentially. We designed the back of the faceplate to be flexible, extremely flexible for a couple reasons. Absorb this impact energy, as well as fit a magnitude of different face shapes. We keep the front of the frame very, very rigid in order to house this lens and be very efficient for impact as well as optics. Here's the same video footage, a different goggle design, different manufacturer. And what you see is the amount this lens will flex and actually compress into your eye, resulting in most likely an injury. Because the natural laws of physics tell us that anytime you curve or wrap something, you're gonna cause problems. So we put a lot of effort into reducing the amount of optical issues that come along with wearing a goggle. We're gonna look at a lens that is designed really and engineered in this flat orientation, but it's worn in a goggle in this wrapped orientation. There's flat, there's curved. A lens that's designed to be used in this flat orientation, flat, curved. We're able to correct that. When you take this lens that's designed to be in this orientation, you can still identify those ruts. I usually like to run a more of a tinted lens, you know, and that would be a prism lens where it's not such a violent change between sun and shade, so I, I'm a tinted lens guy. When we can create contrast through color separation, that builds depth perception. Depth perception to a supercross rider is key to identify texture, bumps, ruts, especially at speed.